Okay, we have multiple listings created by a user who can then sign into a dashboard. However, right now, that dashboard really doesn't show anything helpful. Let's fix that. The default view that Laravel Breeze provides is this dashboard.blade file, and we can see that it's just showing a dashboard heading and the text you're logged in. Instead, I'd like to show the user a succinct list of their listings that they've purchased on our job board. Let's get rid of all this, and just like our other views, we're going to wrap this one in the X app layout component. Create our container. And a heading that says your listings, followed by the count of the listings collection we're going to pass in. Of course, that's not actually getting passed in right now, so we'll have to fix that. In the routes web file, let's modify the dashboard route that was added in from Breeze and include a listings variable, which we'll pull from the authenticated user via the request object and their listings relationship. Now, if we check out the dashboard, we can see that our user has two listings, which correlates to the two that we purchased in the last video. Let's run a for each loop on these listings. And display them in the dashboard. For simplicity's sake, I'm just going to copy over the basic styles and the layout that the listings on the index page are using. There's an addition I'd like to make though. I want to display how many clicks each listing has accumulated or how many times that their apply button has been clicked and a visitor has been redirected. So under the timestamp for the listing, I'll add a line that displays the clicks count pulled in from the individual listing object. So now if we go to the dashboard and refresh, we can see my two listings that I've created and how many times their apply buttons have been clicked, one and zero. Now if we visit one of these listings and click on the apply button, going back to the dashboard, we can see that count has been updated immediately, adding a new visit to the count. Something else we don't have though in this dashboard is a way for our user to sign out. Let's head back into our dashboard blade template file and add that in. Under the listings heading, we'll create a new form with the action set to route logout and the method set to post. The reason we need a form for this is because the logout route that Breeze provides is a post route, not a get. All we need to do is include the CSRF directive and a button to submit the form and sign the user out. Let's style it with a bit of tailwind. And try it out. Perfect. Our user is signed out and we are brought back to the main listings index page. We can then click on the employers section to be brought back to the login view and sign in with the same credentials that we added in during the purchase of our first listing. Alternatively, a different user can follow the same steps and create a listing, filling out all of the necessary information, and after submitting the form, be brought to their own dashboard where their purchase listings are available for them to see and manage. And that's about it for now. In this series, you've learned how to create a fully functioning job board site from scratch with Laravel. We used migrations and factories to create and seed a database, installed and configured packages like Cashier and Breeze for authentication and purchasing, developed both a landing page and an individual listing page with the help of Blade components and Tailwind CSS, and enabled end users to register, create, and purchase listings to be displayed on this job board. The entire source of this video is currently available on my GitHub. You can find a link to it in the description of each video. This series, and the job board app itself, are also meant to be evolving and growing things. 
While we did create a functioning and well-rounded job board, it's pretty basic, and there's still a lot that we can add or improve with this setup. For instance, email notifications when a new job is posted with a specific tag, or better tracking and analytics, preventing people from spam clicking the apply button and skewing the metrics. If you would like to see any additions or features added to this job board app, please feel free to open a GitHub issue on the repo or message me directly. Any major feature that I add will get a separate new video created for it and attached to this playlist series. As always, if you have any questions about these videos, or web development in general, please feel free to reach out to me in the comments or on my Twitter linked below. Huge thanks to my GitHub sponsors, YouTube Elite members, and everyone else for your continued support in helping me make these videos. Thanks for watching.